Okay, so we've we've gotten our correlation coefficient uh, between uh, the correlation between the grit score, uh, the grit scale, and the conscientiousness scale of 0.54. So a positive correlation between the two and moderately strong or moderate in strength. But now let's look at coefficient of determination and. Um, I wanted to bring us back to, if you remember when we were calculating standard deviation, we first we got the variance um, by taking the sum of the scores minus the mean squared divided by the sample size. But then to bring that back to the units of measurement, since we had squared it here, to bring it back to the units of measurement, we got our standard deviation by taking the square root of our variance. And so then we, we were actually using standard deviation units when we were calculating uh, z-scores. And our formula for calculating the correlation coefficient was using uh, z-scores. So we were still talking in, in units of deviation. And the correlation of coefficient, uh, I mean the coefficient of determination, um, brings us back to being able to talk about the proportion of variance, the proportion of variance, because what we're going to do is take the R, the correlation coefficient, and square it so that we can move back to talking about proportion of variance. And so when we do that, when we square R to get our coefficient of determination, we get 0.29. 0.29. And this is typically depicted in a Venn diagram. And what we'll look at here is we'll look at this being grit and this being conscientiousness. And what we would say is that the proportion of shared variance is this right here, uh, which would, so that would be r squared equals 0.29. And essentially what, uh, what we're saying here is that by knowing what students scored on a conscientiousness scale, we've got 29% of the information we need to predict what they would score on the GRIT scale. And that's all we're saying, but I'll repeat that. Knowing the score of the student's conscientiousness scale, we've got 29% of the information needed to predict what they would score on the grit scale. And by the way, just to, you remember this, we multiply this by 100 to get our percent, so we got 29%. So that's the purpose of coefficient of determination. All we're really doing is moving it back to where we can start talking about the proportion of variability since we had been talking about units of deviation.